So what are you doing, John? Well, this painting that I've been working on for a week or so now, um, it's of four Moros in uh, San Luis Obispo County. Um, I had it almost done, and then what happened to me was the paint dried very dark. So uh, I've lost my relationship between dark, darks and lights. The lights are too dark, and the darks are too dark. So in this case, with acrylic paint, there's only one thing you can do, because once it's dry, it's pretty well permanent. And that is, you can take a stiff brush, and you can try and take off some of that paint that's on there in order to lighten it back up. Now, this is getting lighter slowly as I'm basically scrubbing the pigment off, but what I'm gonna have to do is repaint um, this mountain and actually the foreground fields uh, just because uh, the, the values are all wrong because the pigment dried too dark. This is what happens when you don't use really good quality acrylic. I bought some cheaper acrylic paints in big jars because I knew that that I'd use a lot of paint. But the problem with using those cheaper paints is the pigment dries dark. And so now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get out my really good paints, my really good acrylics, these whole bean acrylics, which are not inexpensive paints. This tube is $22.85. Mix up the palette with the good acrylics and then I'm going to have to repaint the painting to bring all the values back, such as the life of a painter.